SCP-2285 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-2285-1-2-3-4 Dash 6 and Dash 7 currently in containment are to be contained separately by species, in containment chambers large enough for comfortable flight and movement. SCP-2285-5, due to the large quantity of currently contained specimens, are to be contained in a significantly larger room, with no additional measures besides those described above. Containment chambers are to be provided with two humidifiers running at all times. SCP-2285's containment chambers should be cleaned on a weekly basis. Should one of the humidifiers fail, it is to be replaced within a week. Subjects should also be given wall-mounted perches. Researchers who wish to access SCP-2285 must have clearance level 2 or higher. Those wishing to donate toys to SCP-2285 may do so at their own discretion. Search for additional specimens of SCP-2285 is currently ongoing. It is estimated upwards of 150 specimens of SCP-2285 are still uncontained, though due to the many different species and varieties of avians, this number could well be over 100,000. Description SCP-2285 is a designation given to seven different species belonging to the class Aves. A set of specific traits are common in all of them. Number 1. Specimens are able to camouflage themselves by taking on the appearance of their environment. When cloaked, the light around a specimen appears to bend and is the only indication of their presence. Number 2. Subjects require nothing more than condensed water vapor for nourishment. SCP-2285 also seems to have preferences in regards to cloud types, and SCP-2285-7 invariably prefer supercell clouds over any other cloud type. Regardless of preference, all SCP-2285 will consume any type of water vapor if hungry enough. Number 3. Subjects always appear to be specimens of extant bird species. Number 4. SCP-2285 are capable of inhalation far past what their lungs would allow, and create a vacuum to funnel the water vapor into their beaks. Number 5. Subjects are able to surpass the normal lifespan of each of their corresponding species by at least 50 years. Designation SCP-2285-1 Appearance Archilochus colubris Ruby-throated hummingbird Notes Specimens of SCP-2285-1 appear to behave in the same manner as any A. colubus, aside from their eating habits. Subjects also give SCP-2285-2-6 a wide berth and do not interact with them. SCP-2285-1 do not interact with humans, and will hide whenever possible from them. SCP-2285-1's preferred cloud is Cirrocumulus. There are currently 40 specimens of SCP-2285-1 contained. Designation SCP-2285-2 Appearance Turdus migratorius Red-breasted robin Notes. SCP-2285-2 appear to behave in the same manner as their corresponding species, with one exception. SCP-2285-2 have been shown to be very friendly towards humans, and when called will perch upon the caller's arm. SCP-2285-2's preferred cloud is Alto Cumulus. There are currently 36 specimens of SCP-2285-2 contained. Designation SCP-2285-3 Appearance Anodorhynchus glaucus Glaucus macaw Notes SCP-2285-3 behaves as normal for its corresponding species. 
However, as A. Glaucus is critically endangered, securing SCP-2285-3 specimens for study has been difficult. Non-anomalous specimens of A. Glaucus are to be returned to the wild. Only one specimen of SCP-2285-3 is currently in containment. SCP-2285-3's preferred cloud is Cumulus. Designation SCP-2285-4 Appearance Ardia Herodias Great Blue Heron Notes SCP-2285-4 exhibit no behavioral differences from their corresponding species. There are currently five specimens of SCP-2285-4 in containment. SCP-2285-4's preferred cloud is Stratus. Designation SCP-2285-5 Appearance Corvus Corax, Common Raven Notes SCP-2285-5's preferred cloud is Nimbostratus. A fully formed flock of SCP-2285-5 can devour an oncoming Nimbostratus wave within minutes. For this reason, SCP-2285-5 present a threat to ecosystems that depend on essential rainfall. SCP-2285-5 have been given top priority, and staff are to be on the lookout for any additional specimens. There are currently 374 subjects in containment. Designation SCP-2285-6 Appearance Volter Gryphus Andean Condor Notes SCP-2285-6 does not differ behaviorally from their corresponding species. There are currently 10 specimens in containment. SCP-2285-6's preferred cloud is Cirrus. Designation SCP-2285-7 Appearance Haliaetus lusocephalus Bald Eagle Notes SCP-2285-7 differ a little from their corresponding species behaviorally, with one notable difference. When treated well and given a level of respect, SCP-2285-7 appear to reciprocate accordingly. Given enough time, SCP-2285-7 will land on the arm of one with whom they seem to share this relationship and attack any threats directed at the person. Why it does this is currently unknown. There are currently three specimens in containment. SCP-2285-7's preferred clouds are those found in a supercell. As supercell clouds contain levels of electricity that would normally be lethal for a normal bald eagle, it is unclear at this time how SCP-2285-7 processes the electricity safely. It should also be noted that specimens of SCP-2285-7 are capable of activating their inhalation at a much greater distance than that of other instances. This is believed to be an adaptation, as normal bald eagles would be unable to fly in supercell winds, allowing SCP-2285-7 to feed from a safe location. Addendum SCP-2285-1 On The behavior of all SCP-2285 changed dramatically. SCP-2285 refused to eat, instances became restless, and some displayed listless behavior, remaining on their perches instead of initiating flight. In one extreme case, a large portion of the contained SCP-2285-5 began throwing themselves against their containment chamber's walls. Staff intervened and managed to prevent further harm to the specimens. Three days later, all species' behavior returned to normal. After reviewing of the data, the date of this event coincides with Hurricane which had indeed gone on for three days, causing casualties and approximately dollars in property damage. It is assumed SCP-2285-5 were trying to escape containment in order to access the massive amounts of water present in the hurricane weather system. Addendum SCP-2285-2 
Since SCP-2285's containment in 19... Hurricanes, tornadoes, and other severe storms have noticeably worsened and increased, according to on-site meteorologists and their reports. Deaths caused by severe storms are being recorded more frequently, up to a 25% increase over the last years, and storms above F3 on the Fujita scale and Category 3 on the Saphir Simpson scale are becoming more common. Whether this is due to the lack of SCP-2285 in natural environments is unknown. Possible use of SCP-2285 as hurricane prevention is being discussed.